the biggest issue that we have right now in orthopedics is that uh, there's an obvious emphasis on the management of COVID patients. Um, we still have a number of uh, acute care orthopedic uh, patients that roll through the hospital, but our access to both the clinical assessments and to the operating room are quite limited. Um, you know, the hospital asked us to uh, essentially close our elective ORs uh, in the middle of March. They've asked us to limit, minimize, or even close our assessment clinics. And the emergency uh, clinics are open to acute care needs on a diminished basis. However, uh, it is uh, quite challenging to get these uh, patients through the clinic as there is a series of screening requirements. Patients don't really want to come. Um, and it, it leads to a lot of, um, of difficulties in doing even acute care assessments. And the real challenge is, is that the longer they've had to wait for surgery, the more likely they have scarring and other problems around the fracture site, making, making the reduction more challenging and the operation takes longer. So the, the wait times, yeah, though they seem relatively insignificant, can, have, can play a huge role in the, in the outcomes for patients. The biggest issue that, uh, that I see right now is that in so, in so cancelling clinics, cancelling elective ORs, and being ready for COVID deployment, such that we may be available to move into areas um, uh, that become problematic, uh, such as uh, either the ICU, the, the medical wards, or assessment units, uh, should those physicians uh, become sick. Essentially, we've given up our elective practice. We have minimal access for emergency care orthopedics, and we're, we're essentially sitting back and waiting to be deployed, which hasn't, hasn't at all happened yet. And so physicians are finding that to be a huge uh, um, uh, problem when it comes to overhead costs and maintaining their offices. A number of orthopedic offices have closed, um, which means patients don't have anybody to contact on a day-to-day -day basis for their issues. Uh, they're either redirected to whoever's on call uh, for orthopedics or to the emergency department, which is, as I said before, patients don't really want to go to eMERGE right now because of the fear of the COVID crisis. And this really all means that we need appropriate government support. We need appropriate hospital support. The only way this can happen is with appropriate funding and appropriate insight into the, pro the problems that are, that are surrounding the COVID crisis that we can't completely ignore. I know that COVID is going to cost the government a lot of money, but we can't forget about everybody else. <laughs>